U.S. economic headlines this week centered on the April jobs report, with economists speculating that monthly data would show the worst unemployment numbers since the Great Depression. Not surprising, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics announced Friday that unemployment had swelled to 15% in April. While these numbers are staggering, the figures did come in well below many expert estimates, underscoring the fact that as our economy reopens, the rate of joblessness continues to fall. Despite slowly lifting restrictions, many dealers reported record sales in April and growing demand in May. While retail sales figures for the month continue to trickle in, there are three key indicators that confirm the feedback we've been gathering from dealers. Number one, e-commerce leads, which are generated and tracked through a number of channels saw unprecedented spikes in recent weeks. Despite the inability to host rides, demo days, or events, consumers are continuing to connect and engage with dealers through various virtual channels, a trend we expect to continue. Number two, IHS, a company that tracks vehicle registration data, reported three consecutive weeks of double-digit registration growth, despite the fact that many DMVs remain closed or are limited to online services. Number three, many commercial lending companies, the banks who finance dealership inventory, are reporting year-over-year -year declines in wholesale volume, aging, and utilization meaning many dealers have less inventory on the books today than they did in 2019. All three factors point to a surging retail sales interest and demand, while vehicle supply continues to be a major issue. This point is personified in the wholesale trends as all three auctions this week in Cincinnati, Sacramento, and Dallas produce similar yet staggering results with year-over-year -year spikes in bidder count and price retention. Despite being simulcast only, we saw a 30% rise in participation over 2019, and bidder counts jumped 38% over the prior month. With competition for product growing, prices also continued their upward ascent, hitting an 18-month high in price to book retention and setting another record in the weekly Comp60 comparison metric. Meanwhile, supply continues to be suppressed, with auction volumes down nearly 50% from 2019. Underscoring this fact, conversion set a new benchmark with roughly 95% of the offered inventory selling across the block. While we've seen positive signals that the inventory will return, we expect continued supply shortages to fuel demand into the coming weeks. With this week's auctions in Philadelphia, Madison, and Atlanta, buyers can expect to see more of the same. Additionally, we'll be holding our first auction at our new Denver facility on Thursday, May 21st at 9 a.m. We encourage you to log into the website, download the NPA app, or reach out to your sales rep for more information. As always, we hope you found this video useful. If you have any additional questions or in search of more specific data, please click, comment, and connect with us through the various information listed on your screen. From the entire team here at MPA, we want to say thank you for your business. We hope you stay safe and healthy. And we want to remind you, we'll be back here again next week for another update. Cheers.